Welcome to another episode of DoCast. In this episode, we're going to go over some simple commands that you could use to reboot or shut down or halt your server. And uh, the commands that we're going to go over are shut down, halt, and reboot. So these commands will allow you to either shut down or halt your server and then power it off so that you can make a backup of your DoCast droplet or your virtual private server. And then you can use the reboot command to go ahead and just shut it down real quick and have it reboot automatically. So let's say that something was going kind of array, maybe one of the applications that you installed in your server were going kind of wild and you just wanted to force quit everything, you can go ahead and just shut down your server. Um, but keep in mind that there, there may be consequences for that. But in the worst case scenario, if you had to do that, this is how you could go about doing it. Now, uh, the shutdown command any of these commands actually you can get more information about them if you just type man in front of them for the manual pages and then you would put uh, halt or one of the other commands there and you just press enter it'll give you the man pages for this command so this is the system managers manual here and halt um, allows you to uh, reboot or halt your server so we have the uh, reboot halt and power off commands here what we can do is I'll just press Q to quit out of that and if you just type in sudo halt this will go ahead and it will shut down your server or if you type in just halt if you're using the root user it should do that as well now keep in mind you would have to use sudo if you're not the root user but that user does have root privileges so what I'll do here is I'll just explain the commands first and then we can go ahead and run through them so we have halt which shut down which shuts down your uh, web server we have shut down as well and what you would do is you would append a uh, attribute here which would be uh, dash h which would be for halting and then powering it down and then I like to just use this shut down halt now most of the times say if I'm gonna back up my ducast droplet but we can find more information uh, on the shutdown command if we just type in shut down dash dash help um, it will give us more information about the commands that you could use with this shutdown so like I like to use the dash H for the halter power off you could use a dash R for a reboot automatically after shutdown and that's much like the reboot command um, but I usually just go ahead and use, use reboot for that so let's go ahead and let's uh, run through this test it out so if I use halt this will halt the server for me what I need to do is I'll go into DigitalOcean now and then now you'll see that it's actually active within DigitalOcean but we can go to power off and uh, power off our droplet here manually now what I recommend doing is just doing this all from the command line itself using the shutdown command uh, which is shutdown dash H and then you type in now so the word now and we'll go ahead and we'll boot our droplet right back up so that we can go ahead and test this out as well alright so our droplet is now active let's move back into terminal and let's SSH into our droplet once again all right, so everything is back up and running. Let's clear this out real quick. And let's try the shutdown command. So I'll just put shutdown dash H now. This will shut everything down for me. So the system is going down for a halt and it's going down right now. What we'll do is we'll go back into Safari and take a look at what DigitalOcean is reporting to us. Now if I just refresh this page here, I should see that the droplet is now inactive. All right, so the droplet is off, so it is inactive. Um, keep in mind that even though your droplet is inactive, if you don't already know this, DigitalOcean will still charge you for having the droplet within your account. And that's because it's taking up storage space on their servers, even though it may not be using any bandwidth. So what we'll do now is we'll just boot it up here. And we just went over how to halt your server and manually power it off. And then we went over how to how to halt your server and power it off all in one line using the terminal command shutdown. If we go back into terminal, we can now SSH back into our droplet here. And we may need to give it just a little time to finish rebooting. And then we can use the reboot command to go ahead and just reboot us right away. So we'll do that. We'll go reboot. And that should bring us down for a reboot rather than a halt and what we'll notice is if we go into Safari and we check out our dashboard area in DigitalOcean if we refresh the page 
we should notice that it's still active and that's because it didn't actually power it off it just rebooted the system or the operating system behind our droplet here so if we go back into the terminal we should be able to SSH right into our droplet once again without a problem so that just rebooted everything for us and if we had any wild programs or applications that were going hopefully this remedied the situation and that way we can go ahead and start uh, where we left off. So this is kind of like a force quit. Now there's other techniques that you can use to force quit an application and we can go over those in future episodes. But I hope this helps you in the future somehow maybe making backups of your uh, virtual private servers or your droplets. And should you have any feedback or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear some feedback on some episodes that you'd like me to cover. And uh, have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.